Here, at the ancient city of Teotihuacan in Mexico, evidence suggests that ancient cultures possessed an incredibly accurate knowledge of our neighboring planets. Some scholars have even interpreted the number and orientation of its pyramids to perfectly reflect a model of our own solar system. Along the Avenida de los Muertos, the Avenue of the Dead, the pyramids there align in perfect distance of each of the orbits of our planets in our solar system. Perhaps significant is the fact that the large pyramid of the sun is positioned at the center of the other structures, reflecting the fact that the sun is at the center of our solar system and that the planets revolve around it. It was a known fact back then already that the sun was at the center of our solar system, which Western science didn't find out until much, much later. But just how could Teotihuacan's designers have known so early on that the planets in our solar system revolved around the sun? Didn't that take many more centuries of scientific progress and investigation to figure out? Interestingly enough, debunkers will say, oh, this is just coincidence that these pyramids are aligned with the planets of our solar system. But if we go on the other side of the planet to Stonehenge, we have another ancient site, which is way older, by the way, than Teotihuacan, where if you look at Stonehenge from a bird's eye view, you see that these are all concentric circles. And each of these circles corresponds exactly with the orbit of all of our planets in our solar system. So we have two places on Earth where we have the same thing. In recent years, Stonehenge has also been interpreted by some archaeologists to be a kind of astronomical calendar, one which could be used to calculate events such as solar eclipses. But if that were true, whoever aligned these massive stones on the barren English landscape would have to have had precise astronomical knowledge of the path of the sun. <laughs> 